Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy, happy Tuesday. Today is a great day. Wow, today's going to be a great day. Starting off the day with a potential recall that Daniel went on yesterday. Customer's air conditioning system was leaking water, and he was got done around 2 o'clock, and then he went home because the day's over. I got a call at 10 o'clock last night. Mikey, my house is 76 degrees. The outdoor AC unit isn't on, and I got water on the floor still. What's going on, Mikey? You come highly recommended, and I don't know. He told me he was a rookie with the company, but I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. This is what he said. I'm just keeping it real. Uncut, unedited, raw. You know how it is on this channel, Mikey Pipes. And speaking of channel, make sure you thumbs up this video. And subscribe, because we are almost at 20,000 subscribers. And I got a great thing planned for you. Courtesy of our my latest corporate sponsor, we're going to have a great $1,000 giveaway of Milwaukee tools and gear and things like that. It's going to be epic. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up. And let me get thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead over to this shop in East Meadow, New York, which is kind of central Nassau County. And uh, let's see what's going on there in this little mini Taj Mahal. All right. Stay tuned, guys. All right. Pulling up to our next, well, the first service call of the day. We're at the Seasons. We are in East Meadow. All right. Stay tuned. All right, Daniel. Let's see what's going on. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm Mike. Okay. And as you know, Daniel. Yes, I'm Now I have the uh, compressor. Oh, All right, let's go to the thermostat, please. The thermostat, yeah. Let's make filter's clean, which it looks like it is. completely full of water all right and we have the safety switch wired into condenser and she ain't going anything she ain't pumping her. so either this switch is bad or the pump is bad or you had a jammed up pump the pump was draining yesterday i hear you um, not a bad idea to replace the pump that's what failed. The pump is no, was not pumping until I just shook it, and now it is pumping. Okay, now that was compressor stuff. Because it's because it, there's a safety switch on it, so if the if the pump never pumps water and the float switch senses, hey, I'm full of water, it's going to prevent more water damage by turning off the outdoor unit. So if we go outside now or shortly thereafter, that that air could, that unit should be should be on. Should be. I don't want to insert foot and mouth, but. <laughs> could also feel this. Let's go outside and see if it's on. 240 volt pump. And of course, there's the outdoor unit, which is running. I can't blame you for that one. It's technically not a recall, but it's just coincidental. I don't want to, you know, he'll, he'll have, he'll, he'll, he'll be in a bad mood all day. It's not his yeah, fault. That you can't, but did you put any tablets in the condensate pump too? Put you in the condensate pump, yes. Yeah, maybe that played a factor into it, but... Why are you so bad? I don't know, it's kind of odd though, but... The pump was full of water. Why wasn't it discharging? It because it didn't sense that there was water in the pump. However, the float switch, which then prevents this from running, if it's wired properly, is part of the same float. That's why you gotta replace the pump. That's what it is. Now, the water should be coming out, or if that's... And it's not right. It's not really. You know, when you tried it that time, this is not just that one time, and I guess then it stopped coming out. The water you put in, remember we checked? Yeah. And the water came out, but then I guess after that it just stopped coming out. I don't know. 
you were saying I need a pump. Is that something you have on hand? Or? Yeah. Well, you should replace it. I don't want the phone call at 10 o'clock again that, hey, it's not working again. Right, I know. When, right. and, I, and you shake the pump as, as the solution. You shouldn't have to shake the pump as a solution. Again, nothing lasts forever, but the building is, like, 12 years old. Yeah, it's right, and old. it's probably 12 years old as well, and probably a good idea to replace it. You have a 240 volt pump in your truck? Okay. If you don't, I do. Well, this one was merely coincidental. Just so happens that the condensate pump failed same day we were there. And you shouldn't have to shake something. And I know some of you guys are going to be saying, well, Mikey Pipes, you can just clean it out. You touch it, you own it. It's a golden rule. That's the golden rule, ladies and gentlemen. You touch it, you own it. And yes, maybe I could have cleaned it out. And maybe when he calls at 10 o'clock, you know, tomorrow or t tonight, hopefully not tonight, because I'm going to South Carolina to scout out my expansion of Pipe Doctor, as promised. Yep, stay tuned. It's going to be sick. But I don't want that phone call at 10 o'clock at night. And I say, hey, sir, just go down to the pump, that little that little pump downstairs, and just give it a wiggle. Wiggle it. Just a wiggle it. I want to see you wiggle it. Yeah, I'm effing nuts. I know. Crazy. But it is what it is. You touch it, you own it. That's the golden rule. And I am not owning that pump. That pump is as old as the development, which is about 12 years old. And it's time for it to go. Point blank. Parts in the truck, get him up and running. The right thing to do is not to charge him for labor, just charge him for the part, which of course is appropriately marked up. And, um, you know, give him a, have a nice day. It is what it is. All right, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What would you do for this customer? Would you let him shake it or wiggle it? Or just replace it? Or would you clean it out? The only answer is, you touch it, you own it. All right, be well. God bless, stay safe.